Hey guys, Kevin, Muddy River Tactical. Thank you for joining me. Today we're out at the range with the Springfield XDM Elite 3.8. In all transparency, I've never been a fan of this Springfield XDs and then the god-awful grip zone that they had there for those years. I was just never a fan of it and want nothing to do with it. However, this XDM Elite may possibly change my mind on their full-size pistols. So if you're interested in the XDM Elite, stick with us and I'll tell you my true thoughts on this pistol. All right guys, this XDM Elite 3.8 comes with a 3.8 inch barrel obviously, has the U notch sight with a red fiber optic in the front. The controls on it are ambi, so the mag release works either way, slide release works. It is OSP, so it's ready for an optic from the get-go, which is nice. You know, optics are the new trend in all these carry pistols, so in my opinion, if a pistol isn't ready for an optic, it's already behind the eight ball. The overall feel of this gun feels way better to me than the XDs of the past, which kind of is what has me intrigued. So this one's actually the compact version, so it's a shorter grip. They also have the full-size XDM Elite, which has the full-size grip on it where you can get a full purchase, where this one has a flared magwell on it, which is more for like concealed carry and things like that. So although you can't get a full purchase on it like this, I can't hold it against this gun as that's what it's designed for. I will say though, I found out something cool that you could take off this flared magwell and they have mags that fit that will come back flush and make it a full size grip without this there. So then essentially you would have it. So probably if I was gonna keep this pistol, that's what I would do. Cause in all honesty, the uh, flared magwell is nice. It makes reloads super quick and easy. It's, it's great for that, but in a carry pistol, it's not my top concern. I would rather have a little more purchase on the pistol there. So this also has a uh, striker indicator on the back and a loaded chamber indicator up top. You know, don't use that as a Bible. Definitely still press check your gun, but it does have those if it's something you're inter interested in. It's got a three slot rail. So I've seen a lot of guys running TLR 7As on these pistols, which we are about to launch holsters for this XDM with the 3.8, um, with the TLR7 on it. So that's something to note there. The trigger on this gun is a flat face trigger with a little curve on the bottom and then a, the grips or press safety there. So it's got just a little bit of take up, about that much right there. And then the wall is really good. And the brake overall is really good, way better than the Springfields of the past that I'm used to, so that was definitely a pleasant surprise. Mag-wise, it comes with two 14 round magazines, so 14 plus one capacity, which is plenty, it's, you know, it's right in line with the Glock 19 size and different pistols in that category, so I think it's right on par with there. As far as the grip texture of it, it's, when you look at it, you think it's almost no grip texture to it. However, upon shooting it, it's actually very controllable and it works well even though it's not overly done by any means. The one thing I would say about it is this part, you actually get really good grip and purchase on it shooting, but it's all this is smooth and slick up here, which I didn't notice any problem shooting it, but I would much rather have a little bit of some type of texture up here, but that's just personal preference. Also on the grip safeties, which this does have, I've never been a fan of grip safeties, the old XDs especially, but even worse than that is the Smith & Wesson's, like the EZ series and things like that. I hated how the grip, because it pivoted from the bottom to go in, so it felt like you're always getting an awkward grip on it. However, with this grip safety on it, it's just natural. So if you have any anywhere close to a correct grip on the gun, you don't even notice that it's there and it will never be a problem at all. So this grip safety definitely didn't bother me at all like some of the other versions had. The mag release on this is ambi. It's just a little circle, but I found it to be not the greatest in my opinion, but it's just like anything. It's whatever you're used to. I'm sure it works, so it's not like it doesn't, but I'm just not super used to it. And I think it's a little sticky to me, but like I said, I'm brand new to shooting this gun. I'm a hundred rounds into it, so I can't judge that 
too much, just wanted to bring it to your attention. The slide release on the, um, kind of a, on a lot of guns it's like this, but I'm left-handed shooter, so on the right side, it works super easy. On For a left-handed shooter, it's really damn hard. And I can't knock just Springfield for that. There's a lot of pistols on the market that it's that way. I'm not exactly sure why it does that, but it's just something to note if you're a left-handed shooter. And maybe it's one of those things after you get some, broke in more, it doesn't do it. But as of right now, it's pretty sticky. Shootability of this gun is what really surprised me. So when I got it, I'm like, okay, it feels decent in your hand. It points naturally pretty well. Um, the sights, I, I'm not a super fan of the rear dot back sight, but that's just personal preference as well. If I was going to shoot it, I'd have an optic on it. But the overall shootability is just super natural pointing, and the recoil really surprised me. It shoots super, super smooth, which I didn't experience in the XDs of the past. So that was definitely a pleasant surprise, and whatever they've done to change them, you know, I don't know all the technicalities of what they've done, but it's definitely helped with shootability. As far as um, accuracy out of this gun, we didn't shoot it out super far. I went to 30 and 40 yards, and I don't know if you can see targets back there. We're only at 20 yards here, but we shot the paper stand-up targets, silhouette targets, and hit all A zones at 40 yards, which, you know, any modern pistol you should be able to do so it's definitely on par accuracy wise we didn't go any farther to really fully test that out but i don't think that's going to be a problem at all the serrations on this gun are also good so it's got the they're not super deep but they work very well without being rough against your hands the front and back serrations on it so i think they've done a very good job on that overall i'm super impressed with this gun compared to the XDs of the past. Like I said, I'd never had good luck with the XDs of the past and I'd rather shoot a Taurus than the XDs and the grip zone is was absolutely terrible. I, I'd i shoot a lot of things before I'd shoot the old grip, zone ver, old grip zone versions of them. But this one has really improved in my opinion. I still don't think it's a top contender by any means. I think there's a lot of other guns on the market, but I definitely don't think it's a bad gun like if you would have asked me about the old xds i would have told you steer as far away from those as possible on these i couldn't tell you that it's shot very well it's every ammo we've put through it has been accurate it's just not fully what i like feel wise but that doesn't mean it's a bad gun at all so if you like the feel of it the shootability and accuracy you're definitely not going to be hindered with um, this gun does weigh 27 ounces so for guns this size it's pretty close to on par you know a lot of these guns would be 23 24 ounces so in the big picture it's not that much heavier but it, it is a little bit heavier but i will say the weight is probably part of what makes it shoot very well because it's very well balanced and it's forward balanced so back on target super quick none of that's a problem so with weight it's kind of a give and take thing as well so you always want less weight for concealed carry and weighing you down but you also want the weight to make the gun shoot better. So that kind of can go back and forth either way. But overall, let me know your thoughts on this gun. Let me know if you're a fan of XDs of the past, because I know some people did like the old XDs. I personally just never liked them. But I guarantee you, if you like the old XDs, you will love this XDM Elite. Because like I said, I'm not a guy that liked them, and this is definitely a gun that I could shoot. And I enjoyed shooting it. I can't say anything bad about it other than just personal preferences on what i've shot more than this but it's come a long way for sure so definitely leave those comments below let me know what you think if you need any holsters for the xdm elite or any of your other guns definitely check us out at muddyrivertactical.com we're always here to help with all your concealed carry needs questions holsters whatever you need contact us we're always here to help so until next time keep practicing and always be prepared